drum roll please. Um, this is Karen Fowler and I want to introduce you to Unique's 3D Fibre Lash Mascara. I love this product. This is one of my absolute favourite products in the whole wide world. Um, I found this two years ago um, by chance and just fell in love. So let me show you how this works. Now I want to give you a few tips to get the best results from your 3D Fibre Lash Mascara application. So start off always 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 curl your lashes you can put it on without but if you curl your lashes they go up at a better angle and it gives you a much longer it just gives you a much better result so i'm just going to give them a quick squeeze with these curlers um these are unique curlers are fab um do, do, do. right let's get started so you have your two tubes the big tube is your mascara gel and the little tube is your fibres. So what you want to do is start off with the big tube. Now this has got like a little window in it so you can see how much product you've got left. And this is a brush here. Now you want to apply it as you would any normal mascara to begin with. So do your first coat and coat all your lashes really well with the gel. On its own, it's a good mascara on its own as you can see. Give them a really good coat. Now while this eye is wet, you're going to open the other tube and these are our fibres. Now these are loose fibres, I'm just going to blow away any excess and then you just want to gently brush these on the edge of the, the lash to the tip. You don't need to go right down to the base with these. Now as you can see there's some sort of clumpy bits. They are dry fibres, you get loads in the tube, so I always just blow the extra ones away. Um, and if you get them in your eye or on your face, it's not a problem, they just literally fall off. So, what you want to do is swap over to the other eye, give that a chance to stick, and you're just going to do the same again. So start off with your gel, and do a really good coat of the mascara gel on all the lashes. Like so. And then, again, you're going to do the same thing with this eye that you did with the other one. So, while it's wet, get your fibres and give them a little coat. Like so. And just focus on the edge of the lash to the tip. You don't need to go right down to the base. Now, what you want to do is go back over at the first eye and the second coat of gel it's just going to seal them in and if there is any that aren't sitting straight this will just sort of straighten them out and you just want to really gently you just gently just brushing up like so now i always like to do a second coat just because i really like dramatic lashes so again that's wet at the moment so you're just going to get your your fibers and then i always focus on just the outside of the eye i don't bother doing in here and if you just do this up and down the fibres stick to the edge of the lash, making them longer and uh, fuller. Look at that! Now it's a bit messy, but I'm going to leave that to set and go back over the other side. Um, and this second coat of gel, again, is just going to straighten out any lashes, um, any bits of fibre that aren't sitting straight. And then we're going to pop some more fibres on that side as well. Like so. My lashes are never equal. This eye is always totally different. I'm sure you probably find the same. This is my good eye and this is my not so good eye. So that's looking really messy but I'm going to sort that out in a minute. Back over to the first eye I'm going to do my last coat of gel and this is just going to again seal in those fibres and straighten out any that aren't sitting quite perfect. You just have to be really gentle, you don't need to like scrape at them. Look at that. And then back over to the other eye and do the same again. Just seal them in. I just touch my face. I always do that, always get mascara on my face. I have to sort it out at the end, always. So you can play about with it to get them absolutely perfect and if you've got a lash comb, if there is any that you need to separate or just get to sit 
differently. You can play about with them for a wee while. I'm going to just put, look at this. Um, and for the sake of the demo, I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom. I wouldn't normally put fibres on the bottom because it can be a bit much, but just a little bit of the gel on the bottom can make a big difference. That's more than enough, to be honest. And then the very last tip that I've got for you, and this works with any mascara, um, is if you've got one of these, bear with me, got a little fibre there. If you've got one of these, mine's won't quite reach, but get your hair dryer. Can you see my hair dryer? It's plugged in and it won't quite reach. And what you want to do is put it on a cool setting and on one of the slower settings and just blast the, the air up. Um, and that will just set your lashes. It also helps to curl them as well. And if there is any of those tiny little fibres, they'll just blow away and be gone. But that is um, Unique's 3D Fibre Lash Mascara. If you want... A false lash effect without any of the chemicals then this is the mascara for you it is fabby dabby dabby so I hope you enjoyed that um, please share um, like this video and I shall be back soon guys I'll see you later bye